development station we will start with gross motor assessment development station comprises of two parts first is the history time allotted for history session is 10 minutes and time allotted for examination and discussion is 14 minutes key points observation is the key and our development goes from kefalo cordal direction always give a range of 6 month don't say this patient could not do this or that always say i could not able to make him or her demonstrate like this so this create good impression in examiner's mind as well as the parent's mind always greet and introduce yourself before you start and always take consent for examination and exposure and always thank the patient and party once you finish Gross motor assessment, head holding comes around 4 month, turning from one side to other side comes around 5 month, sitting with support comes around 6 month, they started sitting without support at 8 month and they also started crawling at this age, stand without support, sorry, stand with support comes around 10 month. And they also started creeping at this age. At 12 month, they can stand without support. They started walking with holding hand at this age group. They started walking independently at 15 month of age. And in between 2 to and 2 and half years, they started running. Stairs, they can go upstairs in child manner. That means two steps at a time at two years. They can go upstairs in adult manner like alternate steps at a time at 3 years. Whereas going downstairs in child manner comes around 3 years. Going downstairs in adult manner like alternate steps at a time at 4 years. They can jump at 2 years. They started hopping at 4 years. They can skip at the age of 5 years. They can ride tricycle at 3 years. Tricycle has 3 wheels, so 3 years. Kicking a stationary ball at 2 years. They can kick a running ball at 4 years. Throwing a ball comes around 2 years. They can bounce and catch ball at 5 years. Important points. Summarize the case very well once you finish. Don't discover any signs which are not present. Communication is the key. Have faith on your clinical finding. Be honest to yourself and to the examiner. Don't guess anything. You can say you don't know, but you will get back to him once you finish consultant review. Don't give false information or hope to the parents. Thank you.